Hello students, welcome back. This question is again from GATE 2006 exam. It's for two marks. They are saying we need to implement majority function using this circuit. Okay, this is the circuit for implementing a majority function. What is a majority function? A majority function outputs one when majority of its inputs are one. Okay, see majority of inputs are one out of two when out of three when two inputs are one. We can say majority of inputs are one. That means in this case, this case, as well as this case, we need the output to be one. Or when all three inputs are one, three out of three are one. That means again, majority of inputs are one. Here also we need the output to be one. So I'm writing a one in all of these places. Okay. At rest of the four inputs, you can see here as well as at these three inputs, the output must be zero because majority of the inputs are zero. This is majority function. We are trying to implement this function using this circuit. The three inputs to this circuit are X, Y and Z. This is the output of the circuit. We want this function at this output. The question is what is P and what is Q? They have given you these four uh, possibilities. Okay. Now let us fix X. Let us fix the select line of this multiplexer to analyze P and Q one by one. First of all, if X is one, say X is fixed as one. That means whatever is the output of P, it's connected here. That will be given as output of multiplexer. Okay. In this case, output of the final output will be same as output of P. Now when X is one, one input is high. The output will depend on these two. If any one of these is high, one is high from here. Any one of these is high. That means two inputs are high. See X, Y, Z. X is high. Any one of these is high. Two of three inputs are high. That means we want our answer to be one. That means P must output a one. Okay. So when any one of them is high, in that case, P must be outputting one. If both of them are high, X is already fixed to one. If Y and Z both are high, still we want the output to be one because still majority of inputs are high. Okay. So you can see this one has to be a OR gate. Okay. This is a OR gate. Just analyze it using this truth table also. See X is fixed to one. In all of these four cases, X is one. The possible values that Y and Z can take as 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Okay. Now you see, in these three cases, first, second, third, in these three cases, we want the output to be one because the output must be one when majority of inputs are one. Here only one input is one. That means output must be low because majority of the inputs are low. You can see it is nothing but OR of Y and Z. This is Y or Z. Okay. Now let's analyze what is Q. Q will be the output of Q will be given as the final output when X is zero. Okay. This is property of multiplexer that whenever the select line is zero, this input will be given as output. Okay. This one and zero have been mentioned in the question. Okay. So whenever select line is zero, this input will be given as output. Whenever, sorry, whenever select line is one, this one will be given as output. When it's zero, this one will be given as output. That means if X is zero, only when both Y and Z are one, one, only in that case, the majority function will output a one. Okay. So that means both of them are one X is zero. Only in this case, we want the output of Q to be high and hence the final output to be high. Okay. That means this is Y and Z. So Q is and gate. Your answer is or comma and that is option D. Okay. Answer is option D. Just analyze it. Uh, analyze this device Q using this truth table. C. X is fixed to zero. 
only case when we want the output one is when two of the inputs are one. Okay, in this case, rest all are zero. See, in this case, no input is high, so output must be zero. Only one input is high, output must be zero. Okay, that means this one is and of y and z. So this is the AND gate. The, the answer to this question is P is OR, Q is AND. Okay.